Well, good morning, everyone who is with us this morning, and a hello to all the people who will see the recorded version of this. Um, yes, I have the pleasure this morning of talking to you just a little bit about the website, about the agent website. Um, I'm not going to just dive into it. Um, this is really just a beginning because I look at several people's website and I see that they haven't even done the minimum of personalizing the website. So that's what I really want to talk about. And I guess if there's some other things, I probably need some more questions of what people may want to know. Um, everything that I know is just for me playing with it. Um, I wasn't trained or anything. So I always say, no, I'm not just this guru. I just love of working with time. And I just think that it's such a value that we have to be able to use it for such a small amount. If you have any questions, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask a question. I think the only bad question, the only dumb question is the one you do not ask and you still need the answer to. So feel free. If I end up talking too fast, cause sometimes I do, feel free to even say, slow down, Michelle, say that again, that will help me. Because one thing about doing these classes to me, it's just sort of weird. It's like, it's like you're talking to yourself. So sometimes I just need like a little help in, um, you know, making sure that I'm answering questions or um, if there's something I need to go over again, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you. Okay, so again, just talking to you this morning about the website. I wanted to start by, okay, wait a minute, I gotta share my screen and this one, which one can I open? Um, let's see. Okay, Melanie, let's see, can I do this? I got all this other stuff open. Oops, 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 let's see. I wanna share my screen, okay. All right, and let's see. Oh, I had all my windows open. Oops, I gotta do it again. Oh no. Let's see. Okay. Yep, I actually got to re. Sorry about that. I thought I was, I guess it's on a certain window, and I didn't open up the right one because. Let me try it again, because I have all of the windows open that I want to share. Let's see. But, um, let's see. Give me just a moment. Okay. So hopefully we see. Okay. So I just picked randomly someone's website that um, is a maximum one agent. And because I wanted to show how so many of us do not, oh, wait a minute, give me, oh, do not personalize our site. So like, for, for example, this person, I do not know them. I'm sure they're not on a call because they're another part of Maximum One. But one thing that I noticed is that a lot of people do this. It has Maximum One Realty. Um, it should have your name. It should not have someone else's information. It should have yours. Um, that's one thing that I feel like you change. Then in looking at some of the pictures, you wanna make sure that these pictures represent you as an agent. This particular picture, I like this one, but then there's some on here that's a little country that I personally wouldn't use, but you really want to look at your website and look at what the public sees and see whether or not that represents you as an agent. Um, oops, go back to that person's home page. I like that one, but like I said, there's some on here, just a little country that you may not want. You do get to um, choose the particular way you want your website to flow. This is really a template website. So it's not a lot of things you can change, but there are some things that you can change, like the way that it looks here. Uh, Michelle. Picture. Yes. We're not seeing your, um, what you're looking at. You're not. Oh, no. man. Thank you. Wow. Let me see. This is 
this, uh, let's see. Uh, this is the one I'm on, and let's see. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, what about now? Do you see it? Um, I yeah. am looking at someone's Chime website. Yes. Okay. Oh, thank you. That would have been horrible the whole time doing that. Okay. So I'm looking at someone's website, and it says Maximum One Realty, but it really shouldn't. It should say your name. I'm going to talk today in case you're one of these people that have not gone in and changed this. Um, the pictures, you want to make sure that you like it, like this particular country scene, not my kind of thing, so I would take that off. But whatever you do add, you want to make sure you don't just get it from the web. You, it, you need to have rights to use that picture. So if you have taken the picture, you can use it. So the pictures that I have on here, they're just random pictures of homes I may have uh, viewed in the past. So you want to make sure you do that. And again, like I said, this is a template website, so it does have some limitations, but I still feel like it's a great template website for the amount of money that we spend. And it does the job of giving our, place, our clients somewhere to look at information. Um, it's really funny to me that a lot of times people will log on and they're looking at houses and they say, I have an agent. Well, to me, that's a little weird that they have an agent, but they're looking on my website. So it does that job. It gives our clients somewhere to go um, to look at houses other than Zillow because we have all of the listings and all of our information is up to date. Okay, so I'm looking at this person's featured listings. They have chosen to have like six different listings. I'll talk to you about how you can choose how many you're gonna show in groups of three, um, all of us have that home evaluation. You get to choose whether or not you want your recently sold to show on your page. Um, I think this area right here is very important. Uh, when it comes from Maximum One, this website, it always starts with Powder Spring, but if that's not an area that you service, then you're gonna wanna change that. And then like this ball ground, I don't even know where that is. I would make sure to look at my website and make sure. Um, these featured areas are really important because basically each one of these technically is a landing page with a wealth of information. That's why you wanna choose areas that are important to you. Um, you can even take this address, copy it and paste it on your social media and um, you could get leads even just from that. So it's really important that you choose the areas that you like. So it has a map, it has, let's see if it's gonna get off of that map. Mm, I didn't mean to click there, let me click out of that. All right, so gives you a, mm, let me move again. Gives you a map of the area, it gives information about the area, the average price, featured listings, recently sold. It shows the prices of things in that area, market trends, sold listings. So like I said, it's just a wealth of information. That's why you really want to choose those areas. You do not want to leave that up to chance. So I'm going to talk to you today about how to choose those areas. Um, the next section, the quick search. You also want to prioritize these areas that are going to show on your page. If you don't service Powder Spring, then you don't want that one to be first. So we'll talk about how to switch that up. Another important area is your footer. I noticed that a lot of you, your footer has the wrong brokerage. Um, a lot of it has Greater Atlanta information. You want to make sure that it has, if you're... Uh, uh, a member of Maximum Realtor Partners, you wanna make sure that that information is here and the address. But one problem is, is that we don't have control of the footer. You're gonna to have to reach out to Chime. Um, I hope that at some point they switch this, but every time I've tried to work with somebody, we were not able to switch this. We had to take the time to get this information. So if, um, so I want you to, you know, look at your page and verify that this information is correct. Um, 
I also want to just take a little look at mine. So I was saying in the other example, the person had maximum one. I have maximum one, but I wrote my name. And if I had a real theme, I would, that would be the name of it. So I put that information. This picture that you're looking at, it's just a picture that I took in a model home. And I added that to my page. And I'll talk to you about how to add that. Then that little tagline, you know, you get to choose whatever you want there. You don't have to stay with what they give you in the very beginning. Um, oh, it was something else I wanted to mention on that person's page. But here I have um, I recently sold, choose those, a little bio. And here I chose the areas that I work with mainly or the ones that I felt like I might want to share on my social media. So I thought that was real important. Um, the blog, you can use their blog or you can have your own. At some point in life, I thought it would be a good idea if I blog. However, I think I've done it four times. I hope that that's something that I picked back up. The quick start, um, I chose the different areas, but I think I'll go back in here again and switch it up a little bit because uh, I can't say I like the order of it, but I did choose the areas that I wanted to quick search and I'll talk about that as I go along. The very bottom, um, they, again, they're the ones that went in here and changed this information. They put the address that I wanted and my phone number. Um, I wanted to go back to that example again because one of the things that some of you have on your page that I want you to take off is under the more section. Under the more section, one of the things that they have on here is meet our, our agents. It has every maximum one agent. Mm, I think that's not a good idea. To have the information from other agents. I just don't. I feel like you need to take it off and I will show you today how to, how to do that. Um, in this more section, it also has like it's a bunch of, oh no, in the about section. That's something else I want you to change. I'm okay with the about us and contact us, the community information. That's just stuff about the city. That's okay. Um, lenders, that's the ones that Maximum One uses. I'm okay with that. The attorneys, the same thing. When you click, when you go to your page and you click on these items, um, you're going to see that it's just maximum one information. But when it gets to vendors, I don't like this page. I feel like mm, you should take that off. It doesn't really apply to your um, your buyers and sellers. So I think that you should take it off, and I'm going to show you how. Um, I also feel like the training calendar, mm, I think it's not a good idea to have it on there. It doesn't apply to your clients. So it's another thing that I'm going to show you today how to take it off. So I know I went through that sort of quickly, but I'm actually going to go into how to change those few things. And then I hope from this class, if there's additional questions, that you will um, let me know and then I can do another class. But like I said, this class is mostly that I want you to change this information. I want you to control what is on your homepage and not just what time has. Okay, so now we're gonna get into it. Uh, I'm gonna come out of this and start in the beginning. I logged on to my Chime. And then I'm gonna hit the website button, those little squares there. And I'm gonna to go to the section of editing my website. Again, feel free if you do have a question, unmute yourself because as I go through it, I really don't see the questions. I just, um, just sort of focus on what it is that I wanted to talk about. So uh, forgive me if I don't see your questions. Okay, so when you click the- hey, Michelle, uh, mm -hmm. Excuse me, Michelle, mm -hmm. uh, send me back to the beginning. Okay, I'm on the page where, you know, it says my dashboard opportunities tasks okay. and all that. How do I get where you are? Okay, um, it's just that you're on this page. The, uh -huh. Okay, when you hit the squares, that's gonna take you to your website. 
Thank you. I appreciate you for me because I'll just keep going. <laughs> okay, I'm there now. Okay, awesome. And then I want you to hit where you need to edit your website. And there's multiple ways of doing this. That's just my habit of the way that I do it. So the first thing that I looked at was the header. And when you click on the blocks and then the header and then the edit is here, you just wanna make sure that you have maximum one realtor partners if you're a realtor. If you're in the realty part, make sure that that says realty. Um, if you need to add it, you click here with the edit, you can go in and replace this if it's not there or if you need to add it. Oh, I mean, I'm slow. Okay, so I click where to edit. Okay, let me go back. So here, when you, under the header, when you scroll mm -hmm. over it, you want to hit mm -hmm. edit. Oh, okay. If I was okay. going to replace mine, because I think yours may say something other than replace, uh, other than replace, but mine says replace, then I would go to my computer and find out where I put that on uh, Maximum One's logo. But I already have the one that I want there. You can also use URL. Maximum One has a URL for their um, logo. Don't know where it is, but it's probably in um, paperless if you're not, if you don't have it downloaded to your computer. Okay, I did it. Yay. <laughs> Okay, you can control the size of it. Mine is a little big today because I was playing with it. I could go in here and change it if I felt like it was too big. But what I want to make sure that I do is hit save. So every time you change anything on your website, you want to make sure that you hit save. And in the end, you want to hit publish when you know that you're okay with your changes. You can also change the color. You could change, like mine is white background. I'm not sure if that's gonna really change it, but you, it's either this or that. Um, you could change it if you wanted to. If you know the exact color, you could put that code in there. I don't know those codes, but I know that you could if you knew it because some people are very particular about the colors that they use. They do have a certain number that you could go ahead and customize that. And the title color, the title here, you could change that as well if you wanted to. But whatever you do, just make sure that you hit save. And then to make the real change, you gotta make sure you publish it. So it said that I made a change to mine. And so I'm gonna hit publish. I don't see the change at the moment, but that's fine. I just sort of playing around with it. So that's how you change just the header. Um, the next thing I wanna change, I wanna look at is that banner where I want some of you guys to put your name or the name of your team. So you're going to, so go back to the block and then banner and you wanna edit your banner. Um, if you have a certain image, you could change that. Um, but if yours is just a just text, um, some of you may have, you know, a logo or something else you may want, but mine is just my name and then my team name. So I just, all I have to do is just type that in. If I wanted to change it, I could change it right there. It says tip, but the tip is just your slogan that goes underneath. If you have a particular slogan that you use, it's a good place to put it there. You don't have to put anything. You could just leave your name. Then here we have, we can change the images. This is where if you don't like one of those images, you could delete it if you wanted to. You can hit the trash can. If you want to, you know, change something, you could hit the edit. If you want to add a new image, here's some of their images that they have. Since I did my website, they've added some. So I think that one's sort of cute. I think I'll add that. Hmm, let's see, can I get to the save though? Ooh, that. Okay, 
So I'm going to add that to mine. Oops, say okay. No need to configure it. Yeah, you're right. I don't need to do anything to it. Let's see, let me do that again. Okay, so now I've added an additional one. And then, oh, I added it twice. Oops, but that's easy. All I got to do is hit delete and it's not there anymore. And in the end, I'm going to save it. This picture right here, this is what goes on the website. I mean, no, on your mobile. So it doesn't look the same on some mobile, mobile devices. Some mobile devices, they pull exactly from the website and it won't be different, but some of them don't. So an image here that I added myself, I think if you, um, if you use theirs, it's like a some kind of house there that you probably are seeing on your screen. But again, if you want to change it, you can, or you can just leave it the same. And then you just want to make sure that you save it. Some of you guys are going to want to add a video, and I want to just caution you a little bit about the video. Um, some videos, the size of the file is so large that it takes a long time to load. I went to someone's page and I eventually just gave up because it was just taking too long to load. Um, sometimes if you have someone professionally doing this for you, they're able to do it. Like Maximum One actually has a really good one on their page. I'm just going to, I think I have it pulled up here. I want to show it. Maximum One has a great, I love their video, but it loaded immediately. I didn't have to sit and wait because whoever did this for them, that's obviously what they do and they knew how to not make that file large. So it looks very, it looks great. However, mm, I'm doing this myself and I just not choose to add a video because um, the file was just gonna be too large. But I love the way that Maximum One I love the way that theirs looks. So if you're interested in a video, I would say you may want to hire somebody or if you know someone who does that, if you just do it yourself, it may work. But like I said, I looked at several people's website and I was 30 seconds in, it never loaded. So be careful if you choose to add a video. Just make sure that um, the file is not too big because it's going to take too long um, to add it. So if you want to add a video, you can, and it's right there. You can do it. But as I said, be careful that that file is not too large. And it, it allows you to preview it. Um, here in this section, you can choose the way the search bar shows up on your page. So just look at the various styles and choose the one that you like. And when you're done, just hit save. I didn't have any changes, but if I did, and then hit publish so that the changes will fully take effect. Because if you just hit the save and not the publish, you're going to be like, oh, I changed something. It's not going to show up. OK. Just making sure I didn't have any questions about this portion. OK. No one has a question, then I'm going to move on. I'm going to go back to the block section. So we just talked about the banner. Featured listings. I'm going to click on that one. And here, you can name it something else. It doesn't have to be featured listings. You, it could be something else that you want, but I'm fine with that. Here is where you choose how many you want to show. I don't put a lot of stock into this feature listing. I just don't want it to have old and ugly houses. That's about the only thing I guess personally I care about. Um, I'm going to show you how you could change that up. It does matter to you. So just make sure you have something there. However many you want to show in groups of three. And then make sure you hit save and publish if you do that. Michelle, I, I have all these pieces of land in Alabama. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to show you how to change that. Um and uh, yeah, so, so so great. Yeah, we're going to be able to change that today. Just a few steps too. Okay, awesome. So 
I'm going to go back to the block and I'm going to look at this home report. Oh, the home report is just what I have here. Could change this up if I wanted to, but I'm fine with that. Just set that up. Um, it, it could be something else. I could take it totally out, but nope, I'm fine with it. You could change what the image looks like if you wanted to. This is just something on your home page that you make a decision if you want it or not want it, or if you want to change it. Okay, then we will go back to the block section. Um, this is whether or not you want your sold listings to show up. One thing that I don't like about it is that it, a lot of times it'll show the house double because of us being a member of Georgia MLS and FMLS. But besides that, I don't care. Um, so it's up to you whether or not you want that to show in your section. I just, I'm fine with it showing, doesn't bother me. I could change the name if I wanted to, but I'm fine. You can also have maximum one listings to show up if you don't want yours to show up, but I'm fine with the way that it is. So I'm gonna go back to the block. And the testimonial, don't look at mine. Mine is nothing. I don't have anything there, but I love that you can add testimonials, reviews. You could change this to about or contact us. Um, mine is actually not showing because I took it off because I didn't have anything there, but you could choose how many reviews you want it to show, or you could change it to your about or your contact us. Mine actually is showing the about um, section there instead of having any reviews. And I am going to talk to you of how you can uh, choose what is showing on your home page. So that's how I took mine off. But if you wanted to, this is where you would see how many you wanted to show. Okay, we'll go back to the beginning. And we're at the featured area. So in this section right here, um, it's just letting you say how many of these, you're not changing it. You're just saying how many do you want to show. So it could be three, it could be six, it could be 12. I'm fine with six. I, I like these because all of these technically are landing pages that you can use to get leads. So, I like having the six, um, but you get to choose how many you want. And it could be by neighborhoods, but we know here mostly the way our MLS is set up is by cities. And you're probably noticing, I'm not saying anything about this setting. Those are advanced functions and I'm not your girl because it's talking about meta tags and stuff like that, that mm -mm, I'm not even gonna talk about that at all. So each time I just go back to the beginning with the blocks that we're looking at that's on your homepage. Um, the next section is the blog uh, section. If you want the blogs to show, they will show. This is the one that either you have set up or if you're using Chime. So you decide whether or not you want that there. I have mine showing and they're ones that actually wrote myself but as I said I have about four I'm working on it maybe the next time I do a class by then I'll have some more so you decide if you want it to show or if you want it to, you want to hide that in there um, up to you all right we'll go back to the blocks and the next section is those quick searches Um, you could change it. You don't have to have it. Um, and I'm going to be real honest with you. I did not set these up. I call it time because I'm going to show you the section of where you can try to sum up. But even here where it says quick search, mm -mm, I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't get it to, for me to be able to add the cities. So I like this quick search area, but um, when I tried to do it myself, it had nothing here, so, but it's been years since I did this. Yours may work, but um, mine, I had to get them to set up this section for me. So you can try it and see if you do it 
had a quick search, but I think I even played with it last night and I still couldn't figure out how I actually add the city. So like, I'm just going to click on it. So I can give it a name, but I wasn't able, and I could add criteria, but I still wasn't able to get that C. So if you figure that out, if you can't figure it out, or it may be a help, or you can talk to them. Because like I said, I'm just, just helping you out a little bit. I'm not going deep into this. But that's where that section is. All right, we're going to go back to these blocks. And um, partner. If you have any partner links, if you want to add, I noticed on some people's website, um, that they may even have their lender there if they wanted to, if they wanted to be able to link directly from their home page to their lender, or it may be some other organization, like some of you are on other real estate uh, sites and they want you to do a backlink. So you could add something there if you wanted to. Or like I said, if it's your lender, if it's your inspector, if you want them on your website, you can add them here. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna check my phone. Um, you can add um, for the next section, rich text. This is where if you want to add something. If you wanted to see something there, if you wanted to add another picture of yourself, if you wanted to, some, you know, I'm just gonna play with it because it's so simple. I love how simple this is. If you wanted to add some additional information to your homepage. So I'm just going to say, I love real estate. And I think I want it to be bold. I think that I want it to be red. And I want it to be in large letters. And I'm going to save that. And there it is. So simple. I love if you just really want to add something else, you can do it. I just need to make sure if I really like it, that not only do I save it, but I also publish it because I'm not going to publish this. It's not going to save to my page. It's just showing me what it will look like and where it is. So under those quick searches, you can add additional information. You can add partner links. You can take out the quick searches. So like I said, it's a template website, but you do have some options of making it your own. Okay. I'm just gonna, let me see. Um, I'm sorry, I wanted to pause a second because I had a couple of text messages that I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything. You know how it is. Um, okay. All right, so that's how you add text. the footer. As I was saying, I don't know why they're limiting us on the footer. You can change the color. You can add maximum one, um, their logo. Like I noticed, you know, someone noticed for me that mine's realty and I switched that to realty partners. I can, I can control the size of it, but I'm not able to change this information and we do need to be able to if it's wrong because I looked at a lot of people's website and it did have greater Atlanta information so technically you know you're out of compliance because this should be your broker's information so I want you to make sure that you look at your information and verify that it has the right company the right maximum one and if it doesn't then you're going to have to reach out to time The chat box, when you log on to your site, there's always this little thing that comes up and says, do you want to chat? If you want that on, if you don't want that on your website, you can take that off. Um, you can just put your name, your theme name, um, gives you a little choice there on styles, but not a lot, just a little bit. And then you can save that if, if you like it. So the things that I just went over were all the things that were on the homepage. 
I just wanna pause for a second, just in case um, someone has a question about one of those things that I just went over. Yeah, I don't see, let me just verify. Just wanna make sure. Uh oh, okay. I don't see anything and you can unmute yourself if you need to. Okay, so all those things were the things on the front, on the home page. This next button here is actually landing pages, which I am not gonna talk about today. But if you want me to talk about it in a future class, I will, but it takes a whole 30 minutes just to talk about landing pages. I have a lot of them, but I'm going to be honest, I'm not good at posting them because that's what I need to do. I need to be able to post them. Um, you can do a Facebook ad, um, and that's how people see your landing page. If you never post it, then yours is going to look like mine, a bunch of zeros. So if that's something that you want to do, um, if it's something you'd like to for me to do a class on one, make sure that you reach out to Maximum One or to Melody, and I will uh, make a class just on those landing pages. All right, the next section is that wonderful featured listings page. That here is where you're going to be able to change um, a few things, not a lot, a few things. Um, this number is sort of deceptive. It says that. We have a total of 38,364 listings. And that's because they're using Georgia MLS, FMLS. They're using um, uh, single family, multifamily. They're using rentals. Because when I looked on Georgia MLS this morning, it only had about, uh, about 10,000 uh, single family. And then it had about 2,500 uh, attached units. So, this number right here is deceptive because it's including everything. I don't know if it's including things that are under contract, but anyway, it's a lot and it's not true. But back to why this page is important. You want to look at yours. And what I noticed when I looked at this page, um, right here where I have maximum one as my office, it had Greater Atlanta. It had Greater Atlanta. Sometimes it has Dave Kubat's name, the founder of Maximum One, but you have control over that. You do not have to have that. So in my featured listing, the first thing that's going to show up, any listings by our office, that's what is going to show up. And um, if I wanted to change it or take it out, I could click this here. Oh, no, it's, I'm going to add criteria. And if I wanted to change it, if I wanted to add an agent name instead, or if I wanted to add an additional office name, I would click it there. Let's say I wanted to um, advertise a new home community and I had the agent. I could get that agent's um, number and um, their real estate number and click agent. And then I could add that agent's, or even a maximum one agent, I could get their agent number and put it here, and their listings would show as my featured listings. But again, guys, if you're going to do something like that, make sure you have permission of that agent, especially if you want to do new homes. You can also add the price if you wanted to. I could go ahead and say, hey, you know, add price. I only want listings that start off at a certain price. But if you do something like that, the system will alert you. You might change something. So that sort of scared me a little bit. And I didn't, I didn't change it. I just left it alone. I just put on here that I wanted to have maximum ones, a, um, as my group one of featured listings. So if you want to change your featured listings, you would click here, and you would either take it away or you would, you know, like, I don't like, I don't care about that. I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna go ahead and take that price off. And I think I messed my, I messed mine up just a little bit. I'm gonna take the agent name off because I want to add my office. So, oh, um, 
and come down somewhere. Oh, there it is, office. And then usually once you start typing, it will come up. So you, if you want to choose one of the other maximum one, and really you can choose anything you want, but to me, make sure you have permission if you're going to choose something other than our office. So on my page, my feature listings, I have maximum one. And here I put my license number. Now, if I had listings, I would change the order of this and I would, oops, I would put my listings first. And to do that, would just click here with the little lines and instead that would be my new group one if that's what I want it to do. Just keep it there mm, it's holding <laughs> because even if I put it first they're still gonna I don't have any lists right now so they're gonna go to my group two and then a group three if I had one I don't have one because I'm fine with maximum one or my listings, if I had a new home community that I was in love with, that I wanted to feature, I could put that on my page. So, so Gail, I know you wanted this section. Is that okay? You, were you, Gail? You probably, well. Okay, I'm here. Yeah. Now. Oh, okay, great. Um, so was that, did you, did you get what I was saying about how to change this section? Uh, uh... I guess up, up, up at top where it says featured listings, is that okay. is that where I put my name or because mine goes uh, in that on that page it says first one is filter name, the next one is group number one which is office, then it says agent, and under agent I have my license number there. Yes. That's so in what I do. Okay, filter name. What does where what should that be? Um, filter name is on my, oh, if you want to change the section. So on my homepage, it says feature listings, but you could change it to agent listings. It's up to you if you want to change this. But, and even though it's grayed out, it's not even allowing me to change it, but you could change it if it's grayed out, if you wanted to change it to something else. That's what that is. So read that. Feature listings, and then you're going to have your listings first. Uh, okay. Make sure that you save and publish this. Okay, see, I, I, I'm I'm looking at this. Mine looks totally different. Yeah, some of our pages definitely look different from each other. Um, um, I was even talking to another agent that there are different versions of this. Mm -hmm. But but yours should still, if you're at this filter, um, I don't want to edit. Okay. My so my feature, my thing says filter name, which is in the, that says featured listings. And I clicked on for sale or for rent. Then I put mm -hmm. list. I don't want for sale or for rent, mm -hmm. but it won't let me change that. It won't let but you it'll... change for sale or for rent? No. Oh, um, and I think they just want to keep it there. But if you put your listings, if you don't have any rentals, it's not going to show it. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay so, so it's grayed out it doesn't allow us to change it okay then it says office i've got it keeps putting office name maximum one community let me delete well, that again yeah <laughs> or when you add the criteria you want to change it yourself you want to go in there and so i just add an office to mine mm -hmm. and what i want to do where the little uh I hit that. I'm going to take out maximum one and then I'm going to start typing maximum one. And then it comes up with all of these choices. So I didn't okay. just delete it. I'm going to make sure that I choose the one that I want. Okay. So I want maximum one realtor partners. And then I'm going to make sure the very bottom, I believe, let me move this. Uh, I need to make sure that I save it and publish it or it's not going to change. So I'm not going to save mine, but you would save it and hit publish. Then it should work. If it doesn't work, then you're going to have to talk to them. But once you start to make some changes here, you save and publish, it should work. 
Okay, let me change this Greater Atlanta here. They got me in another office. Yep, yep. This reverts back to that if we don't have anything. Okay, maybe okay. they may get that uh, that Sandy Springs stuff off. And then I'll show you how to. That's the next thing I think that I'm talking about. Okay, so that was the featured listing section. And let me go back here. Yes, I don't want to change that. Oh, no, 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 no. You also could add packet listings if you wanted to there. But I don't want to do anything else with this filters. That's just if I want to change either the featured listings or the custom filters. And I was as I was saying that those custom filters, I couldn't get it to work. Um, I just called them and I had them to do it for me. But that was so long ago, they may have fixed how to make that work. All right. Um, so now I'm going to go to the settings little tab. And let me say again that I don't want to change anything. All right. All right. So yeah, be careful with that page when you're changing stuff because as you saw, I kept getting these little reminders to tell me that um, I may change something and it may not be able to change back. So I only feel like I just wanted to choose which office that was going to show up. All right, so this section is gonna talk about the appearance and I still haven't forgot about those extra things it's just gonna come up as I talk. All right, so this section right here, this is where you choose your template. If you want your template to look like one of these others, it controls where that little bar is going to show up, not necessarily the picture. It's just showing where the search bar. If that's something you want to do, click on the one you want, save and publish. All the theme does is choose the colors for you. Let you choose the colors. That's all that does. This next section, basic information. You really want to go here and make sure that this information is right for you. This first part, that's just maximum one. They usually do that for you. Company, you want to make certain that it's the address that you want. Which maximum one office are you out of? You want to make sure that that's correct. And of course, make sure that the broker's name, if they said maximum one realty partners, I would have changed it because I am a realtor. Make sure that information is correct. Then make mm -hmm. sure you save and publish. Okay, well, hold on one second. Let me change this word in here. Still got greater Atlanta in here. I thought mm -hmm. I changed that. Well, I love that you're changing it now and you're going along with me and that you're talking to me, Gail. It means the world. And I am not playing because it's oh, okay. very lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to turn to put it back on mute. That's why I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I said, it, it helps me. And okay. I'm sure you're not the only one that's changing this right now. And it's a good idea too. If you looked at your page and it's not right, yeah, change it. And then make sure, save and publish. Okay. So that was the company information, the creator. Of course, that is you. I wish that I could change this picture. I tried, I edit. And I changed it, but it didn't change it because originally they put this photo in here. Um, but every time I talk to somebody, they always say, you should update your picture, you know, because I never, here I had natural hair there too. I just had it straightened, but I'm probably never going to do that again. But so I need to reach out to Chime and get them to change that photo for me. Oh again, yeah, they won't let me change it either. Mm -mm. It didn't. It, it didn't for me I, when I tried it. I don't know if it's the version that I have, but I hit edit and I tried to change it. It it did not update it. Yeah, right, we'll make, say, I can't click and say okay. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure. Um, sorry about that. Okay, you want to make sure again that all your information is correct here because this is what shows online. Um, position. Agent. Oh, let me change that. I want to put realtor there. Where it says agent, is that where I put my information? Um, the 
No, I'm just changing mine to realtor. It says where I am is the position. So if Hold you want to say real estate agent, um, I want mine to say realtor. Okay, mine is after creator. It says agent. Oh, so that's the next section. And so that is actually when you want to add an additional agent. Like if you're working as a team or something, that's what that is. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And so here's, if I want to add any information about myself, this is where my bio is. If you want a short introduction, I think this is the one that shows when somebody looks up your website. So I may want to change that one day because it doesn't say very much. Um, here's where you add all of your social media. So you want to make sure that that's there, if that's something you want to share online. Can add any of those. Then if you make any changes, make sure you hit save and publish. Really, I think you can publish at the end. It's just sort of a habit. Um, and I was saying the next section says agent, but that is not you. That is if you want to add information for another agent. If you're working as a team or a partnership, you can add that person stuff there. You can even add their social media there if you'd like, and that's all that is. Hi, Miss Yale. This is Chantel. Hi, Chantel. How are you? I am awesome. I am so glad that you're showing this today um, because I, um, I am trying to dive into time and you act absolutely right. The price is remarkable for the platform they've given us. Um, mm -hmm. So I've been diving in because I went full time on real estate. So this is definitely something I need to get into. Okay. But today was a little, is I'm putting out fires. I was putting out fires. So I kind of mm -hmm. missed the part where I really wanted to get into where on the website. So mm -hmm. I, I it, there was, you know, where say maximum one and you said change, I can change my name there. Mm -hmm. And the pictures, that's great because I was wondering if I removed that, would that have been a problem with maximum one? Okay. No, so you helped, me, you helped me out on that. Thank okay. you a lot. And, and I okay. might be reaching out to you to ask you some couple of questions because I've been I was on this chime all day yesterday. Oh, okay, okay. Well, good deal. Just let me know, and if you know, um, if I'm not available, we'll figure out a time that I can talk to you about it. And awesome. I really appreciate you, you know, unmuting mm -hmm. yourself and telling me that. Um, it just helps to go through the class, make sure that I'm seeing things that are helpful because, like I said, I'm not diving deep. I'm just telling general information today. Yeah, because I, 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 I caught one of your videos on um, the workforce um, mm -hmm. workplace and the video was showing me how to actually Okay, it went out for a second. I was saying, I was saying, oh. thank you. I had um caught a couple of your videos on the um workplace yesterday, okay. so it helped me out a lot. I, I just well, want to say thank you. You very, very much appreciate it. You're so welcome. And again, thank you for letting me know that because sometimes I just feel like it's just basic info, but obviously it's needed. Um, so I appreciate your word. All right. Uh, so let's see. We're at the neighborhood section. And as I said that in this section, we usually don't do neighborhoods here, that we mainly do um, cities. Oh, Melody, you raise your hand. Unmute yourself. Yes, Melody. yes. Hey, there is a question in the chat um, from Mark Brown. Mm -hmm. And he's saying um, that there are three listings under the agent section. Um, can you discuss those? He's on a computer um, and he doesn't have access to his microphone. Okay. He said in the agent section. Mm -hmm. He said there's three listings under the agent section. Under the featured listings or sold? Uh, Mark, if you can hear me, if you can elaborate on your question, please. <laughs> because it should, my knowledge is that it shows your featured listings, it shows your sold listings. Um, it says below creator. So underneath, I guess the creator. Okay. But I will go back to basic info and under creator. 
She's talking about the part that I asked you about the agent. agent? Said that if you have other agents working for you. Yeah, that's what this section yes, is. That's other, what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so whatever that is there, it's just if you're trying to add someone else. So that's what he was asking about? Yes. Okay, okay, awesome. Thank you. All right. Oh, wait, he had one last question. He said, should he take that out? No, because it doesn't allow you. It doesn't do anything. Like mine is blank. Unless you add some information, it shouldn't do anything to your page. So let me leave it alone. Unless it's showing up, then that's different. Okay. Uh, yes. I just said. lost. I'm sorry. No, no, you're okay, Gail. Go ahead. Okay. I just lost something. I was on the page because my bio is jacked up. Mm -hmm. um, and I can't get back to it. I went off to see what Melody was talking about. And I can't get back to where it has my picture and my bio. So when you go to creator. Oh, okay. no. Let me see. And you scroll down. And that's your information there. Okay. I'm on, Okay. Should I be on that filter button or the setting button? The, uh, setting, the setting button. button. Okay, I'm on the setting button. I see appearance. Go setting. Template. Basic, basic info. Basic info. And then creator. Okay, I'm writing this down because I got to come back to it. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, so the next section under the settings is neighborhood. And I was saying that choose the city um, because we don't, our MLS is not set up to do neighborhoods. I mean, you can do a search for it, but most of the time we start with the city and then we do it. So in this section with the neighborhood, this is what I was telling you, your quick searches. Um, oh, and those uh, featured areas, this controls that. I said to give me six, it's gonna show my first that I chose. This is all of the ones that I chose. Some of these I take out. One of the reasons I feel like I should take it out is because I don't want time calling me about, about ball ground Georgia. I don't know anything about that. So I deleted some of these that were there. Then I changed the order. Like let's say I'm a McDonough agent. Then I'm gonna wanna change this if I work mostly in McDonough. I don't need to edit it because that's technical. Don't even know why they, I don't want to mess with it. I just want to change the order. So I hit the three lines, put it at the top if that's what I want to do. Make sure I save and publish this or you'll end up doing gig it again. That's what happened to me the first time. Uh, so you just want to go in here and order it the way that you want it ordered so that the quick searches will be there. No, not the quick searches, but it's the featured areas. And as I was telling you, you want it to show up the areas that you just because you all of those technically are landing pages that you can share on your social media and you could get leads from. So you want it to be the six areas or three areas, however many you put or 12, whatever you put, you want the ones at the top to be that priority of the ones that you work in. And then again, um, you know, you can delete some of these out if you know you're not going to work in that area. You can just hit delete and then save and make sure to publish it. So that was just under the neighborhoods. Um, okay. How do you add one? Okay. At the bottom here, let's see. Oh. You can hit, it's actually at the top, hit add. And if you wanted to do a neighborhood, you could, you would just type that in and yeah, if you want to play with that, let's just put bottle ground because I don't even know what that is again. Let's see if I, that helped me. Hmm, it didn't go anywhere yet. Oh, it wants me to draw the area. Technical, uh-uh. And I was going to add one. I would just ask them to do it. I would not sit here and play with this because that's not what I do. So um, if you're trying to add, add something, you can ask them to do it as well. So it didn't do it when I put the C. Okay. Oh, it did. It would. I don't know why that one. Now it, it's coming up now. Let's see. 
maybe that was not really a city or maybe I don't know how to spell. Oh, look, it has various different cities and states and all of that. So you can play with that. So maybe it would have come up if I had spelled it right. So you can put that and then you can say that, but if it doesn't work right, then ask them to do it for you. All else fails, that works. And then just play around with that. So in this last settings area, the general section, now this is another one of these technical type of things. If you use Google Analytics, I had to read up, um, or I, I think it's on your page. Um, if you wanna add that to your page, get that from your Google Analytics, same thing with this pixel. But it, it, when I didn't know how to do a pixel, um, I saw it on YouTube, but I do not remember it at all. This lead privacy, you want to make sure that yours is set to private. They said it doesn't matter, but mm, if given a choice, mm, I want mine to say private. I don't want it to be a team lead. I want to make sure that if I get a lead, that I'm the only person that sees it. So if you haven't done this, make sure you go to the settings, hit general, and then go to privacy and make sure yours is private. General, general. General, general, hold on, general, general, general. Go settings on the side. Go to settings. Hit general. And then scroll down. Oh, no, it's right there. Privacy. Lead privacy. Mm -hmm. Nope, I don't want a team. Did it cite? Special stop. Mm, yep, sounds technical. Don't know anything about that. Those meta tags. I couldn't tell you where I got that from. Yeah, I don't know anything about all those tags. I know somebody out there does, but mm, I have to read about it because I don't know about all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, source. My, my lead privacy keeps saying that no change is made. When I say save. Mm -hmm. Yours may have already been sent to private. Okay. Yeah, just that's what I would talk that up. That it's already um, when someone comes in, it'll go to private. Okay. Um, that's just when somebody comes in. You could change this if you wanted to, but I'm fine with it saying if I get a lead um, and somebody's coming from the, the website. Yeah, it's a way to change some of that up, but I'm fine with it saying website. Um, registration. Um, this is one of the places that you can change this. This is just when someone that has not been on your site before, um, you may want them to register. Some people take theirs off and never make people register. Um, it's up to you. Uh, it's total, per you know, it's personal how you want that done. For me, I want them to, at some point, I want them to give me their information. Just like I was telling you at the beginning of class, there are people who come onto my website, they actually have another realtor, but after looking at four houses, I want your information or they can just go to somebody else's website. It's no big deal, right? So, but you decide how many that you want. Then you get to decide like, well, is it okay for them to use your calculator? That's fine with me, I'm okay with that. Um, you look here and you make a decision that works for you. Um, but mine is, they can look all over the site if they want to, but once they start to look at listings, after looking at four, I want their information. Then I want to require their phone number, but unfortunately, a lot of times they're just going to give me the wrong one, but I'm at least attempt to get the phone number. Um, so just look at this and decide the things that's important to you, then make sure to save and publish. Okay, so that was a lot, but it was everything that's basically on the home page. Now what I'm gonna do for a little while, cause I was hoping to, to not keep you long and I'm already, it's already 11.07. Um, I'm going to go back to the little squares. That's the website. And I just want to say that the navigational menu, and I can do another class so I can go into a little bit about some of these other things. Here's where you're going to decide over the whole website what you want to show. 
the things that are at the top. There were some things at the beginning of class that I felt like you should take off. Well, this is where you're gonna do it. Um, so be careful. A lot of times I don't delete it. I just make it so that it doesn't show, that it hides it. But of course I want all the listings, I want my souls to show. But if I didn't, I wouldn't take it off. I would just, just do that. Because oh. at some point, I may want to change it. Hey, Gail. I, I, I had a phone call to come in, and I missed where you are now. I am so sorry. Please it's forgive okay. me. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to, I'll go back for you. Okay. 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 So I was here. I was in the settings. And then I just hit the squares again to go back to the very beginning page. Oh, shoot. You know, I can never go back there. I have to go all the way out. Okay, here we go. Let me go back to squares. Okay, now. Okay, perfect. Then um, the navigation menu. And this is what I'm looking at because I wanted you guys to take some of the things on here off that I didn't like. But mm -hmm. of course we want the listings. But if you didn't want all the listings to show, you could just do that. I would not delete it. I would just put hide it. Of course, I want that to show. Neighborhoods. This is the blog that they have. I didn't delete it or anything. I didn't hit delete. I just have it not showing because I have my own blog. The about section. This is the section I was telling you guys that I want you to take out some of the things. I think I deleted mine. Mine's not even showing up at all. Um, but I told you, I didn't mind the lenders, the community, the uh, attorneys, but there was other agents information was vendors. I didn't like that one. I took that one off. What else was that? I didn't like. So vendors was one. Oh, our training calendar. I just took mine off, but you could just, just, you know, hide it. So look at yours and see, you know, look at your website and see which one of these things that you don't or if you're okay with it just leave it alone the blog this blog is the one that i did uh, i'm not going to talk about it because i'm already at an hour but um i love their wordpress site for doing this um so that's what that is the reviews i was telling you how i didn't have any reviews I got some. I just didn't put them on here. So I just have it not showing. Same thing if you got Zillow reviews, you can add it here. Um, this is when I have classes. I'm going to start back having my classes. So then I will show this page. But for now, I wanted to, sh to stay hidden because I haven't updated it. Um, this is me with the new page. Um, I probably could do a whole class on just making your own pages. So I'm not going to talk about it, but I want to tell you it is there if you want to make your own events, articles. For me, this is, if you go to my website, the articles are actually those KCM articles. I prescribe to that because I felt like I'm going to post something on social media. I want it, if there was a lead involved, I want it to come back to me. So that's all that is. If you're not going to see that on yours, that's just on mine and then property details. So anything that's in the navigation menu is showing up in your site. You're gonna wanna spend some time on your site looking at what the public looks at and seeing if you need to take anything off or if you want an add a page. Um, I like the add a page function because it's pretty simple. That I, I mean, it's just a couple of steps. That's what I mean by simple. It's not simple to design because sometimes it doesn't work right. but can add a blank page and add certain blocks, add a link. So that's what I did with KCM. I just added a link. I didn't design that page. I just added a link. And then I could change it. Like for my KCM, I probably should change the lead source. It shouldn't say website. It should say KCM, that that's where that came from. So let me go back. So that was me talking about the navigational menu. Um, the neighborhoods, that was already in the other section, registration rule. This is just a quick way to get to this, that you don't have to go where I was showing you. Um, blog, you have this here and you have the option, like I was saying, that I like the blog, but mm, 
Yeah. Oh, that wasn't how to set it up. Oh, let me go back. But that's what that section is. Your favorite listens, we talked about that. The custom page, like I said, I could do a whole class on that. The reviews, this is a quick way to add your reviews if you wanted to do it from here. They have this help section on a lot of different topics. I thought that that was good. And let me just look at my notes to make sure I at least covered everything since I am way past my time. Um, and if you have any questions, it's a good time to ask me now. Yeah. I will call you about the adding reviews, but not right now. Okay, okay. Um, another example I wanted to show just because I want to thank ladies on the call. I thought Letty had some really great pictures. I don't know if she hired somebody to do them, but they're very Atlanta looking pictures. So I thought her page was very cute. Um, I think this is Maximum One's tagline, but she really had some great pictures. I have to ask the lady, where did she get these pictures? And they look great on her website. And it makes her website have a more um, personalized look to it because she chose all of her own photos. It did not use those stock photos that I'm using. So I just wanted to say I really liked hers. She used a different... Um, logo here than I use. Um, I like the white background in hers. She has her featured listings. Um, she has, instead of the three, she has the six. Her information, her recently sold, her featured, see she went in here and customized it and put the areas that she's concentrating on. And down here, the quick start, she doesn't have as many as I have. And of course, she's gone and made sure that this information is correct. So that was just Letty's page because I liked it. And then Maximum One, see how it's the same website. It's just that theirs has a very different feel to it. They have the search bar here. And as I said, they probably paid someone to do these videos. They look great. That looks like no other stuff. But I love the customization of their website. But if you're going to add video, be very careful, careful because it can tend to load slower. Their featured listings are larger than mine. They probably didn't add the three, not sure. Recently sold and then their information at the bottom. So I love that you can customize your website with a couple of clicks here and there. But if you don't want to do all of that, you can just at least change and add your name and the things that are important to you. So I thought I was going to talk for 45 minutes, but it's been an hour and 15 minutes. So I hope that's okay with everybody. Um, does anyone have any questions they'd like to ask me while you have me? Um, feel free to reach out to me. Um, and if I can't talk then, I'll just try to set an appointment because that's really the way that I like to do it. That way I can give you time and I'm not multitasking because I am not a great multitasker. I try, but it's not my strong point. That's why I even just look at the chat, it's a task for me because it's like, oh, am I doing this right? Am I on the right page? And yep, because I can see that there have been some messages there, but Melanie was helping me out. So hopefully... Um, I'm going to at least click on it, at least before I get off. Let's see. Oh, no, that was more. That wasn't even a chat. Um, yep. Um, let's see. Nope. I don't see it. Um, okay, so I'm guessing that I don't have any questions. Nope, I don't see anything. I think everything has been answered in the chat. Okay, great. And this was a lot of fun. And again, I do appreciate the people who said something to me because to me, it's a lonely experience. I'm used to being in a class and people talk to you and say things. So I'm getting used to this. So this is a win for me as well as I start back my home buyer classes and realize that a lot of time, all I'm going to hear is myself talking. Well, Melody, that's all that I have for this particular one. I hope that you get some messages uh, where people can request, like next month, something that they may want me to talk about with time. I really don't mind. And again, I do enjoy it because I, you know, it's joy in being able to help someone. 
I always say it's a blessing to be a blessing. So um, I don't mind at all doing these classes. Absolutely. And thank you so much again. Um, it's very informative. Everyone in the chat has um, just commented. Very good info. Thanks for sharing. Thank you very much. Um, Chantel said that she'll definitely be calling you soon to schedule it, okay. uh, an actual one-on-one -on -one call. Okay. Okay. Uh, I do good. have one question. I'm sorry. Um, mm -hmm. That, um, gosh, landing pages. Can, mm -hmm. we, can we get a class for that one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so I appreciate you letting me know that way. I'll go ahead and start thinking about the things that I want to talk about with those. Um, so yeah, definitely. I, I don't mind doing a class on that because it's a class in itself. Yeah, because they confuse me. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not tech savvy, so. Girl, me I've either. I've tried, tried <laughs> several times and it has not worked out for me. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll do a class on, um, how to set up those landing pages and give some ideas of how you can use that in your business. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Well, okay, Melody. Well, that is it for me and uh, my little tips for your time. Uh, rep, rep. All right, Miss Michelle, thank you so much as always. It was definitely a pleasure. I enjoyed it and learned something myself. Oh. Um, so we definitely do appreciate you and your time and the energy that you put in for today. Um, do you want me to just leave a uh, in the chat like your email address? Yes, um, that would be so, great. Okay. And you can leave my phone number as well. That's fine. I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll be putting that in the chat as well. Okay. Perfect. Okay. It was a pleasure. Thanks again for inviting me. My pleasure. Looking forward to the next one. Okay. Well, All have right, a great everyone. rest of your Thank week. Thank you so much again for attending. Um, if anyone has any questions, you can reach out to me directly at melody at maxonepartners.com and I'll forward your information over to Miss Michelle as well. Okay, now I, I finally see the stuff in here and all the people that said good morning and all that great <laughs> stuff. So awesome. Okay, until the next time. All right, everyone. Have a great day. All right. Bye, Ms. Whipple. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>